I'm back with a makeup look. I know it's been a while. I know I don't do these that much. Over the last couple of years, I have been really busy offline. So doing stuff like this has taken a back seat. We're in lockdown now, so I have no excuses. If you have any ideas of stuff you want to see, please do let me know. But in the meantime, this is something I've had the original picture in my inspiration file for what seems like forever. It's by a lady called Lisa Luke Nielsen, I think it is. I'll tag below. Probably not going to do exactly the same as it, but it is hugely inspirational to me. And also a little bit of inspiration from like Penold and Abby Roberts for some eye looks that I've seen them do in the past. We're going to see how it turns out. I never like to follow and copy a picture. I like to do my own twist on it, but I have to give credit for that inspiration. So that's that. So I've already done a bit of a base. I don't go too heavy with a base, so there's no point showing it to you. So even though this is gonna be more of a painty look, I am starting with the eyeshadow, just because I find if I leave this till last, then it ends up being rushed. I'm doing a red eye, I want that to be red. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down a liquid lipstick as a base for the eyeshadow. This will give the eyeshadow something to adhere to and just really pump up that pigment. My go-to product for when I do this is the Liquid Suede in Kitten Heels from NYX. It's probably one of my favourite reds. So I'm going to pop that down and I might try and wing it out a little bit. We'll see. So it's only really rough, but of course it's just the base and then we're going to sort that out with all the eyeshadow and stuff afterwards. So I'm just going in with some eyeshadows to make that really rich red and also blend it out. First pot of call is the Blood Sugar Palette from Jeffree Star. One of my favourite palettes ever in existence, especially if you love all of your red tones. I'm starting with this Cherry Soda shade here. You can see already, it just make, I've done it on this eye, it just makes the colour a lot richer. I'm going to use a fluffy brush, this is one of my favourite shades from NYX, and I'm going to use some of the more neutral tones just to blend this out and really soften the edges. So I'm going to leave it at this for now and then I'm going to come back to it later on so that once I have everything else going on here I can tie it in together so it looks unified whereas if I just spend all my time on this now I will get bored, I will get impatient and it won't have that unity in the same way as if I finish it all off together if that makes sense but yeah. I love a red eye. On to the body paint now. I'm going to use face and body paint. This is chameleon body paint. I've just decanted it into this because it helps and it's handy for when I'm out working, which I'm not doing much right now. I'm going to use this to base out all of my detail work because the idea with this design is that all the detail work is red. And yeah, I'm going to work with the flow of the body to make sure it's flattering to this area here. And we'll just see what happens. So I've done this, which is very based off the original artwork that I'm inspired by, by Lisa McNeilson. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's the idea that it's a bit of a, a red dress made up of these red flowers and leaves and stuff. And I've used this size 8 round brush, so it's quite a large brush, but it comes to a nice point. And this allows me to get coverage quickly, as well as getting some nice kind of tips and points wherever I need them. So when you really master brush control, you can get even fine lines with a brush like this. They don't all have to be thick. And yeah, I've basically based all of this out just with the one colour. And this is the basis of my look. I do feel like I want to do a few more bits like this elsewhere too. So I don't know whether to do some here on the face as well in a similar vein. So I followed the cheekbone and also curved it round the temple. I've done exactly the same kind of stuff that I've done down here. I use a smaller round brush for the basic big strokes and then I use my favourite brush in the world which is a size zero from the face painting shop just to add these little swirly details which I've then gone and accentuated and added more of down here because I do that a lot on all my floral designs and stuff and it's just very me so I thought why not. 
So it's only something little, pretty much the same as what I've done with everything else, but smaller and just using my size zero brush. I've done it, they look kind of little leaf shapes again, the little swirly bits. So now I'm gonna go back in with my blood sugar palette and I'm gonna start adding some depth and a little bit more dimension to what we've already got going on here. So there, I literally just used two shades. I used Intravenous there for the shadow, and then I used Glucose there, the white. For the highlight, it's probably the most pigmented white eyeshadow I've seen in my life. I applied them all using the Morphe M149 brush, which has got this nice little dome shade, which was perfect for all of these shades that I've created. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some more Chameleon body paint in a brown. Ignore, again, the state of my palette. This is my home palette, just for me. Ugh. use some of the brown tones just with my size zero brush just to kind of outline and define some of those flowers So what I've also done is I've gone in with this colour here which is almond and it's like an off-white colour. I've used it quite watery so that when I paint it on it's not going to be a stark bold colour, it's going to sink back into the background a little bit just to add a slight bit of a more defined highlight. So now it's time to, I think, maybe stop this bit looking a little bit so scary and I think I'm going to add lashes. I often don't put lashes or anything on because I'm a really big fan of the no lash look it's seen a lot in like high fashion kind of stuff however I feel like this needs it so I've got these these are prima lashes I think it is and um, I not, don't have them in the box because I've used these ones before and I don't know where the box is right now I love them because they're not really OTT so I've added those lashes and now I am just going in with a bit of eyeliner I wasn't sure if I was going to but now I've got the lash right, I feel like it needs it, and I'm going in with my absolute all-time favourite, which is the Epic Ink Liner from NYX. It is amazing. So now I'm going to do lips, and I'm going to use my favourite Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood. It's really nice, kind of deep red, which is wonderful. And of course, everyone knows Jeffree Star formulas are just incredible. I'm going to go back in with a couple of shadows from the Blood Sugar palette just to add a little bit more red in the middle and stuff and brighten up the colours. So we're going to go in with a couple of Krylon products just to finish it off. We've got these two here. So this is the Shimmering Event Foundation in Pearl and this is Glam & Glow Icy Blush which is a highlighter. They're both quite pearlescent and what I'm going to do is just put them on the bare bits of skin like the collarbones and the shoulders just to give it a bit of a sheen and a glow so it's not just skin tones so it has a little bit of life to it so don't know if the camera is quite picking up that shimmer right now but in person it is so lush honestly i love those products but yeah we're kind of almost there i got some jewels i'm gonna try and use these on the eye and maybe a few accent bits within the flowers so I've just added around the eyes, oh that one's falling off already, um, in the kind of corners and edges of the eyes, great, <laughs> one's already fell off, um, however it's on this side which I think I'm going to use my fringe to cover anyway because it looks a bit sassier, so I'm not going to worry too much, so yeah around there, centres of the flowers, I think we're about done, other than my lips are feeling quite dry, I did think originally I was going to put the jewels on the lips as well but it does look too much, they're a bit dry and I want a bit more of an intense red in the middle so I might use another lip product. I'm going to go in with this which is the NYX Lip Tease Lip Oil. So it's more hydrating, it's a bit glossy and it's quite a bright red so I'm going to put a bit of that in the centre. There we go, I think that's it. All that's left to do now is to accessorise and then just get my pose on as always. I hope you've enjoyed this, I hope it's added a bit of colour to your newsfeeds during lockdown. Does 
anything else you want to see from me, please do let me know. And hopefully I'll be back soon with another look.